Unit Three, Section F, Reading Text. Trends in Mathematical Education. In the last decade, a new trend in mathematical education has gained popularity in Kazakhstan: the teaching of mental arithmetic, the branch of mathematics which includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. This involves teaching students the ability to calculate sums without using a calculator or computer or even pencil and paper. The process takes eighteen months and is taught to primary students aged five to twelve. To begin with, children are taught how to use an abacus, one of the earliest calculating tools that has been in use for thousands of years. Then, over time. The abacus is removed from the classroom, and students learn to visualize it instead. With practice, students are able to perform calculations faster than someone using a computer. Advocates of the method say that it develops both the logical and creative sides of the brain, and improves children's concentration, observation, listening, and imagination. This certainly makes sense. When you think that arithmetic comes from the Greek words arithmos, which means number, and tiki, which means art, arithmetic then is the art of numbers. It's difficult to put a date on exactly when humans first used arithmetic. The first records show that simple arithmetic was used in ancient Egypt around four thousand years ago. Although their symbols would be unrecognizable to us, the Arabic numerals, the symbols we use for numbers today, were based on symbols first recorded in India, but were developed in North Africa by Arabic mathematicians in around the ninth century. Then, in the early thirteenth century, the Italian mathematician Fibonacci learned about them on a trip to Algeria and popularized the numerals in Europe. Since the early twentieth century, arithmetic has been a part of the curriculum in education systems across the world. While the basic rules haven't changed in all that time, the way it is taught has. In the first half of the twentieth century, arithmetic was often taught by rote learning, a form of memorization. With this method, students learn mathematical calculations by reciting them to the teacher. For example, one times six is six, two times six is twelve, three times six is eighteen, and so on. The problem with this method was that students were not learning how to calculate sums for themselves. New methods appeared in the 1960s, which encouraged students to try and understand how arithmetic worked, instead of just memorizing sums. When pocket calculators And then smartphones became widely available. Lots of people began to wonder if there was any need for students to learn mental arithmetic skills. In many countries, it was feared that students would no longer be interested in learning how to do even basic calculations, and would lose the skill altogether. Fortunately, in Kazakhstan, this hasn't happened, and many parents whose children have learnt mental maths. Have been delighted with the results. They have reported children being more involved and motivated in class. One parent, whose daughter is a month into the course, said she has become more engaged in her education and more confident in all aspects of her life. Kazakh students of mental arithmetic have appeared on national and international TV shows. Including Russia's Tonight Show with Andrei Malakhov, there are also national competitions that see children competing against each other. Despite this, not everyone is happy with the trend. Naila Kasyanova, a primary teacher from Nurzultan, has questioned the method. She doesn't believe the method will help students who need to solve equations. Or complex maths problems that require logical reasoning.
Other maths teachers have reported that their students have become obsessed with answering questions the fastest, but don't take the time to think about what they are doing. This is of great concern to teachers of all subjects, not just maths. While there is a lot to celebrate in children who can perform mental arithmetic quickly and accurately, experts believe it is important that this method is taught as part of a balanced approach to education. After all, in the 21st century, young people don't just need to be able to perform mathematical calculations. They also need to develop communication skills, critical thinking, creativity, logic, and emotional intelligence.